brave little robot. In a distant future, the world had transformed into a place where humans and robots lived together in perfect harmony. Giant, sleek, silver skyscrapers reached up to the clouds, and floating vehicles zoomed across the skies in neat, organized paths. The streets were filled with a beautiful symphony of life, people chatting, robots assisting with every task imaginable, and the soft hum of technology blending effortlessly with the laughter and chatter of the humans. Among the many robots that called this world home was a small, humble robot named Pip. Unlike the towering helper robots or the sophisticated androids, Pip was tiny, barely three feet tall. His body was made of simple steel plates with rounded edges, and his eyes were two large glowing orbs, constantly filled with wonder. He wasn't the fastest or the strongest robot, but he had a heart bigger than any machine or human. Pip dreamed of one thing, to be a hero. Every day, he would look up at the sky and wonder what it would feel like to go on an adventure, to save the day, and to make a difference. Though Pip was designed for simple tasks, like tidying up or helping organize human spaces, his dreams soared far beyond his small frame. Pip's fellow robots were content with their programming, but Pip wanted more. He wanted to do something remarkable. One afternoon, as the sun dipped toward the horizon, casting a warm golden glow over the city, Pip wandered to a part of town he rarely visited, the scrapyard. This was where old, broken-down robots were sent when they were no longer needed and where discarded machines rusted away. The scrapyard was vast, stretching for miles, filled with piles of metal scraps, rusted gears, and discarded robot parts. For most robots, this place would be considered sad or even frightening, but to Pip, it was a treasure trove of possibilities. As Pip meandered through the piles of old metal, something shiny caught his eye. Wedged between two large, rusted gears was a strange, glowing object. His curiosity immediately sparked. Pip carefully pried the gears apart to reveal a small, glowing map tucked inside an old mechanical part. The map radiated a faint blue light, and it looked ancient, unlike anything Pip had ever seen. Pip's circuits buzzed with excitement. This wasn't just any old piece of junk. This was the beginning of an adventure. And adventures, Pip knew, always led to something extraordinary. With the map clutched tightly in his tiny hands, Pip raced back home, his little legs whirring as fast as they could. The map led to a place he had never heard of before, a distant land called the Valley of the Lost Sparks. According to the ancient text on the map, it was said to be the resting place of an artifact that held immense power, something that could change the world. The more Pip read, the more he believed this artifact was the key to becoming the hero he had always wanted to be. The next morning, Pip set off on his journey. He packed a small bag with tools spare parts, and a snack, which, for Pip, was a small canister of oil, and began his trek toward the Valley of the Lost Sparks. Along the way, Pip passed through bustling cities, crossed quiet countrysides, and journeyed through strange and wonderful landscapes that he had only heard about in stories. As Pip ventured deeper into the world, he encountered all sorts of characters. There was Dex, a retired explorer robot who had seen many lands and helped Pip navigate through treacherous terrain. Dex shared tales of faraway places, and though he was now old and rusty, his stories filled Pip with even more determination. 
Further on, Pip came across a bustling marketplace where robots and humans traded goods from all corners of the world. The marketplace was full of color and noise, with vendors calling out their wares and strange gadgets, blinking and whirring on every stall. Here, Pip met a clever engineer named Zara, who gave him a special upgrade, an energy booster that would help him through the more difficult parts of his journey. Zara was kind and always tinkering with new inventions, and she seemed fascinated by Pip's brave mission. You're the smallest robot I've seen to take on such a big challenge, Zara said with a grin, adjusting Pip's new energy booster. But I have a feeling you're going to do something amazing. With his new upgrade and the map safely tucked away, Pip continued on, his heart, or circuits, brimming with hope. Every step of the way, Pip grew more confident. He was no longer the small robot who just tidied up after others. He was becoming something more, a true adventurer. After days of travel, Pip finally reached the edge of the Valley of the Lost Sparks. The valley was a mysterious place, with jagged cliffs that stretched into the sky and an eerie mist that hung low to the ground. The air crackled with energy, and every now and then, a spark would flicker through the mist, lighting up the sky like a shooting star. Pip's excitement was mixed with a bit of fear. The valley was far more intimidating than he had imagined. But Pip reminded himself why he had come this far. The artifact was out there, and if he could find it, he would finally have the power to help others in ways he could only dream of. He ventured into the valley, carefully following the map's instructions. Along the way, Pip had to solve puzzles and navigate through ancient robotic ruins, places where the ground would shift beneath his feet, or where mechanical guardians long abandoned by time would spring to life, challenging him at every turn. But Pip was clever, and with every challenge he faced, he grew stronger and more resourceful. Finally, after what felt like an eternity of searching, Pip found it, the artifact. It was a glowing, pulsating core, the size of a small boulder, suspended in midair by invisible forces. The light it emitted was warm, and it hummed with energy that filled the entire valley. But just as Pip reached for it, a towering figure emerged from the shadows. It was a guardian, an enormous, ancient robot, rusted from centuries of protecting the artifact. Its eyes glowed red, and its voice boomed like thunder. Who dares disturb the sacred core of the Valley of the Lost Sparks? Pip's circuits buzzed with fear, but he stood his ground. I, I'm Pip, he stammered, and I've come to protect others. I want to use the core to help people, to become a hero. The guardian paused, its glowing eyes scanning Pip. For a moment, the valley was silent, the only sound being the faint hum of the core. Then, the guardian spoke again softer this time. A hero, you say. Many have come seeking this power for themselves, but none have ever spoken of using it to help others. Perhaps you are different, small one. The giant robot lowered its guard, and Pip stepped forward. As he reached out to touch the core, the energy surged through him, filling his tiny body with warmth and light. It didn't change his size or give him physical strength. But it gave him something far greater. Wisdom, compassion, and the ability to inspire others. With the core's power, Pip returned to the world not as a mighty warrior, but as a beacon of hope. He helped those in need, 
not through feats of strength, but by showing them that even the smallest among us can make a big difference. His bravery, kindness, and heart inspired others, robots and humans alike, to work together, to believe in themselves, and to build a future where everyone could be a hero in their own way. Pip had become exactly what he always wanted to be, not through grand gestures, but by showing that true heroism comes from within. And from that day on, Pip was no longer just the little robot who dreamed of adventure. He was the brave little robot who had changed the world. <laughs>